Hello everybody, so Chris here. Here is the Gibe bare bones. Everything's been dismantled and taken apart. And uh, everything's out of there. So we got a crack in the soundboard. I got a repair. And uh, gotta do a lot of sanding cleaning and I discovered that uh, these damper guide holes couldn't tell right at first they're so tiny they used to have felt in there usually it's just uh, metal on wood on these lightweight structures but uh, this one definitely had felt in there you can only see how tiny those are. It's only a music wire, small music wire. It's used for the damper wire. Here's a, there's one that's still good. So I'll have to refelt all of those. Easy to do. I'll make a video on that one. And then a uh, little surprise. Right up here on the top of the base bridge, there's two sections. This section was totally unglued. So that's not good for tone, but we'll fix that. Simple gluing it, gluing it back. All right, so next I'm gonna do a uh, paper pattern of the string so I can measure the string scale. Okay, so got the uh, string scale pattern made, and uh, now that'll allow me to put this on the bench and measure the length of each speaking length uh, a little easier than I can in the piano. Also, I found out from a friend of mine that uh, it'll help helped with a little research. And we narrowed it down to 1827, 1828 when this piano was made. So uh, that's pretty good enough to get it down to two years when it was made. So, All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.